So I'm here today because I'm going to be using the mud shot for the first time, but I just wanted to let you know. This is the very first tool, it's called an angle box, that I ever put the angles in with. It was in 1976, I know it's been around a lot longer than that, but it was in 1976. You pump the mud up in there, which fills this thing up, and as you put pressure on it, it pushes the mud out, and it coats both sides of the angles with the angle head. My gosh, this thing here is one of the first ones I ever had. This thing's got to be from the early 80s. I got to say early 80s. This could be one of the first years that, that Tape Tech came out with these tools. This could actually be like an 88, 1980, 81, 82 uh, angle head, angle box. So that's how long I've had this thing. And then this angle head here, I don't know, it, it's, it's a Tape Tech too. It could be 80... It could be that old too, I, I don't know. I, I've had that angle head rebuilt a few times. So, so this is the first thing I ever used to put angles in. And when I was putting angles in with this, uh, the very first time, it took me a few minutes, but oh my gosh, I, I just it just felt right in my hands. And I started throwing in angles the first or second time I ever used this. And next thing you know, I am putting angles in for all of the other journeymen on this housing project. I was just an apprentice in 1976, and I am just going from house to house to house putting in angles because they could they could pay me like three dollars an hour. I think I could have been making three dollars an hour. I'm not sure. And I was putting in angles as good as they were. Uh, it was it, they were dumbfounded, but it was a lot of work. There's a lot of pushing. There's there's. This is a lot of work. It, it was hard to do. And then they came out with the Tape Tech. Well, actually, Ames came out with it first, but then Tape Tech started selling mud runners. And I tried an Ames mud runner, you know, before they were selling these, and, and I fell in love with it. Oh my gosh, I just fell in love with it immediately. It, the, all of the hard work was gone. All I had to do is twist this handle here, and the mud came shooting out the end. And as soon as you got your mud right, I started using this, and my angles, I could put in gobs of angles, hundreds of sheets of angles, maybe a couple of hundred sheets of angles, and not even crack a sweat. It was so easy. Compared to this, I, I'd be soaked, just soaked pushing this thing. So I fell in love with this. Well, now that you've advanced, guys, and understand this, the angle head from the 1980s works on every single thing. It works on this one. It, you know, believe it, believe it or not, um, I, I remember this angle head. It didn't have this piece on it when I bought this angle head. These weren't invented yet. But when they did come out with them, I had to, I had this rebuilt, and then I and I had that put on this particular angle head because I had it rebuilt. But it, they didn't used to have that in there. They had this spring type thing, this little spring type thing that went in there. All right, now DeWalt has come out with a mud shot. So I'm trying this today for the first time. So I'm gonna give this a shot. No pun intended. So I'm gonna give the mud shot a shot. Now I did try this on Friday, but the problem was with my pump, uh, the rubber grommet, <laughs> the rubber grommet seal that goes around this um, on my pump is really worn. It, it, it leaks actually even around, if I can get this to stay, stay. It even leaks around this as I try to pump up. This is, it's really worn. So I'm gonna replace this right now because the last time I tried to pump that up, that pumps up a lot harder than that does. And I just couldn't get the leverage and the, and, and the mud just shot out all over the place and wouldn't stay stuck in there so today I'm going to replace that and I'm going to give it a good effort to run, to run this. No, it's not. Hey, you guys, this is, this feels like it's brand spanking new. It really does. It doesn't feel bad at all. I wonder why, uh, why it's leaking. You know what, I'm going to put a new one in anyway. Okay, here's a moment of truth here, guys. Like I said, the last time I tried to pump this thing up, mud just shot out all over the place. 
because uh, yeah, you should be able to see me. But this time I changed the thing. I'm going to try to shove that in the best I can. And yes, no. Oh my gosh, this is really hard to pump up. Really hard. I can really feel the pressure on here. Holy cow. And this is pretty thin mud right now. And because this is thin mud, I cranked, I cranked this down so it just doesn't lip. So I'm going to test it right now, see how well this works. I'm supposed to just be able to push. Oh, oh, that worked really well. I got. I think I have to crank it down a little bit more. My mud's a little too thin. So. you to see me do this closet. I know you can't see everything in this closet. Okay, this is what I learned just, just from doing this little bit right now, is I have to put it up here and I have to make sure I engage the thing before I go. Because I want to go before I engage it. And this is, this is really, really good, um, a two inch. So, so far I've used my three inch, three and a half inch, and now the, the two inch. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like this. The only thing I don't like about this is how hard it is to pump this, this baby up. I mean, I have to be very careful when I'm pumping this. I can't just sit there and pump it. I really have to push onto the pump and pull this down hard, hard. So that is going to wear me out. That alone is not worth buying this thing, is how hard it is. Maybe if I had a different pump, maybe, but I just replaced that, that rubber grommet and everything. The fact, the way it runs on the wall is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But I'm not liking the way it pumps up very well. Um, I've got two small angles in here, and I've got some angles in there, so I'll flip this around so you can see me. Knock out these two angles real quick. No, it didn't. But what's nice, what's really nice about that is if it does leave those holidays, I can put it up there, I can put it up there and I can just do it without uh, putting pressure on. So, let me see if I can't hook this camera up here so you can see a lot of these angles that I'm doing. I'll try this one first. It, it does run easy. I gotta hand it to you. It does run easy. I'll tell you what, if you can find a way to dial this down so you can pump it up easier, and dial it back up so it'll give it more pressure, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, so, but I honestly do like this. If you are only used to the angle box, the angle box, you are probably going to love this because this does run a lot like the angle box does. It really does. Whoops. Like I said, you have to engage it. I start to go before I push it. 
And I do have my wand pretty thin. So like I said, I have my mud pretty thin, but like I said, look at, look at how much I can move this down. And I have this way up here because I've got very little mud coming out. I've got to use my, I got to use my two inch head for these two angles. Hope you can see them. I've got these two angles right here and I need my two inch edge for those. A lot of times I'll run through and I'll do all my two inch angles. This is probably a two inch here too. It is. And then I'll, then I'll flip the heads around and then start the three inch. So I'm going to bring this camera in here to Hopefully you can see me. Uh, and that's it. Now, okay. So what are my thoughts? Let's go out here. So we're in better light. Bye. By all means, it's probably easier to run in the mud runner because you got to remember to twist the handle with the mud runner. You just put this in and push on it a little bit. And it pushes and then you know the mud's shooting out. So this thing is going to be a little bit uh, uh, easier to use because you, can, you don't have to have your mud just perfect like you do on the mud runner. The way I have this mud right now, it's perfect for the mud runner. Absolutely perfect. Um, so you don't have to do that either. Uh, but pumping it up and doing all of that, it's harder, much, much harder than the mud runner is. So, you know, would I buy one? No, I don't think so. I have my mud runner. It works very, very well. I've never had a problem with it. Um, and, and why would I, it, it, I'm not going to save any more time than with this. I, I'm just not. I can run these angles just as fast as with my mud runner as I just did with this. So, uh, but if you're not used to it, if you're only used to an angle box and you want to try something new, I would suggest you try one of these first. Now the man who let me borrow it bought a mud runner because of my videos on YouTube. He, that's why he bought a mud runner. Did you hear that tape tech? You sold a mud runner because of my videos on YouTube. Now the mud shot he got because he knew people at level five. So when he started using the mud shot, he said he preferred this over the mud runner. So he, he uses this more than he does the mud runner. Um, I would probably purchase this if I didn't already own a mud runner, uh, but I'm not going to purchase one now because I own a mud runner. And again, I will, it, it, I'm not saving any time. Really, I'm not. Um, but the other thing too is, uh, is if they if they made this a little bit better, if they had a dial down so I could put this on my pump and just pump it up like I can the mud runner. Let me, let me show you how fast I can pump up the mud runner. One thing I haven't done with this is I haven't wet it. I haven't done anything. I haven't oiled it. Maybe I should shoot some oil in here first to, to lubricate this up. Just because uh, I haven't touched this thing yet. So it might be a little stiff to start. That one was all lubed up, all ready to go. But I can put this on here and look at how easy this pumps up. This pumps up. The only reason it's not working on it is super easy is because it's just about out of mud in here. So I'm scraping mud down. I don't want to grab an air ball. But look at this is effortless. Absolutely effortless effortless to pump that sucker up. The other one, I'm pushing and pushing and pushing. You know, that's going to wear me out. So why don't I just show you some, some of the angles that I put in with my mud runner. The head was on the mud shot. I had it 
Grab the head. Come on. There we go. So, now you know I haven't ran this yet today. I have a little holiday right here. So I'm going to have to just go over there. But done. I don't have to push. All I have to do is turn and just run it. So you guys have a good day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.